All right, are you ready? Born ready. Look at this. Watch this. There we go. Magic. There's food in front of us, and you're blindfolded. Do you know why? Good morning, it's me, Hamid Ammari, and Qatar Creates have tasked me with going to check out their best dishes in their food and beverage outlets all in one day. But I'm not a food critic, so I'm going to be joined by Qatar's best food critic, Rachel Morris, my friend who's going to join me on this culinary journey. Let's start with breakfast, because I'm starving. Rachel. Hamad. Good morning. It's so early. It is. You dragged me out of bed, but thank God you got me coffee. Of course, and it has to be done. Have you ever been to 321 Museum? This is my first time, and it's amazing. Like, it hits me right the, you know, the sports love it feels. <laughs> yeah. I love it so much, and it's so good that there's great food here as well. Yes. Let's start with this cookie. Talk to me about Do it. Wanna, okay, I'll tell you, because I'm the one who has the, the what is it? It's a gluten-free courgette. Oh. Cinnamon and chocolate cookie. Uh, you went straight for it. What was it? I'm not here for a haircut, my friend. <laughs> this is weird. This is Kusa. This is perfect for This is perfect. This is courgette in it. It's perfect for parents trying to put more veggies in their kids' food. Tastes good. <laughs> like it's not supposed to. You tell me there's a courgette in my cookie. Mm. So, here I see avocado. Yeah. Halloumi situation. Yeah. Where's Lots. the halloumi? I don't see any halloumi. Is it halloumi? No, this is court. Oh, there you go. You got Yeah, halloumi. I got halloumi. Oh, it's two slices. Yeah. Okay, there is halloumi. Yeah. Green peppers. Yeah. Oh, no, and bell lots peppers. of herbs. Mmm. This is amazing. It's really great, right? What do you mean? Off to the next one. I'm going to finish eating this. So, we're here at Desert Rose Cafe. What's your favorite Qatari food? Straight off the bat. Straight off the bat, love madruba. Madruba? Yeah, yeah. The beaten, say, it's okay, the beaten. Say, say okay. madruba. Madruba. Hey, chill. Madruba, I don't know. I can't tell, it's the Australian accent, Ma I can't tell. Madruba. <laughs> I like madruba. So before we actually eat, I need to go see Chef North. the kitchen which means I can use my normal voice finally I've been in the museum being all like using my inside voice chef it's amazing to meet you thank you Hamad so it, the name madruba means beaten up طبعاً المضروبة من أشهر الأطباق عندنا هني في ديزرت روز كافي وبقطر عموما إحنا هني سويناها شوي بطريقة مختلفة كل شيء عندي هم هو شوف الأكل أنا بالنسبة لي وايد حساس فالسبايسز عندنا نبيعة دهنا الكطرية نبيعها السبايسز عندنا ثلاث أنواع اللي هو الدقوس والمعبوش والمعبوش الليكود فأنت خلاص خلصنا سوالف and in like any kitchen when the order's up yes this does not look like the madruba I know right that's what I'm saying it's green so obviously yeah. it's got a lot of herbs and greenery in it essentially yeah. So Usually it's red. Like our yes. like go-to madruba is like a red, golden brown type of color. So I don't know what the ingredients of this are, but I'm sure we'll find out it why it's green. It smells like it to me. But it smells like madruba, but yeah. With the addition of cracked pepper. I like place. that there's textures, as I said, but also you can add textures to it. So This is the best madruba I've ever had in my it's life. really good. This is our last restaurant for today. We are in Jiwan. It's only meters away from Desert Rose Cafe at National Museum of Qatar. I love how you talk about food and how you share food all around Qatar. And because of we, I get to spend the day with you, I feel like everyone who works with me has a has to, you know, there's a bit of taxation for the relaxation, you know? And I'm gonna challenge your palate. All right, are you ready? Born ready. Look at this, watch this. There we go. Magic. There's food in front of us and you're blindfolded. Can you see anything? No. Okay, so no, you're not cheating. No. Okay, so there's there's one appetizer. I made one and the chef made the other. And you're not allowed to see because if you see, it'll give it away. Oh my God. Right? But the taste is what we're going after here. This one is better. That's the chef's one. <laughs> you can take it off now. You can take off the blinds. Okay, that was only a bit of fun. And we're here because they have a signature dish. 
which is the lamb. Can't wait. The chef has prepared for us. Chef, thank you for letting me into your playground. Now, when someone tells me lamb, this is not what I picture. Okay, so we've got uh, the lamb cooked for 24 hours and mint, pesto, fennel, date, and uh, mint. And the pomegranate is just to add flavor or yeah, just kind and of acidity and okay. crunch. So this should be the smoothest lamb I've ever eaten in my life. I think so. <laughs> it's delicious. Ah! The lamb is melt in your mouth tender. It's not gamey at all. No. Which I think a lot of people worry about with lamb, that it's going to have this that. This is perfect. Like, this is you not. Taste the little sweetness of the dates. Yeah. There's mint. Yeah. That's in the sauce, right? Yeah. Well, Fantastic. it's been great. Thank you for sharing this moment and journey with me. Thank and you for, I... for taking me along. It's been amazing. You keep doing what you're doing. We'll keep eating great food together. I will. Perfect. You can, you can wrap this. I'm going to eat. I'm eating. He's out. Yeah. <laughs>